What's up? It's Scorpio with Scorpio's Hot List. We're here live at Hip Hop Live at Senate Space in Hollywood, California. I'm chilling here with the lovely Lady of Rage. What's Aquarius good? in the house. Scorpio and Aquarius. That's what's up. What you been up to lately? No good. <laughs> no good, y'all. Nah, I've been up to um, raising my kids, working on my music, and still pursuing acting. Okay, so how do you manage the motherhood and the rapping? How do you? How does that work? Barely, cause uh, kids. I don't know if you have kids, but it is a task. But I, I could do it, cause I, I I have the will and the drive and the determination. So seeing them makes me have not only you know if I didn't have them, I still had that drive. But having them pushes me a little more, because I want them to have things, and I want to have things too. But I, I definitely want to make their future more comfortable. And you know, when I leave this world, their mother left something for them. So that's right. So. What do you do in your spare time? I mean, like, I know you're raising kids, but, like, how do you set that time aside to say, you know what, I'm going to focus on my music and, you know, y'all got to go to bed or whatever they need to do so that you could focus on your music and get it done? Well, I try to do it mainly when they go to school. So I have, like, six, seven hours to do whatever I have to do and then get back. I got to cook and do stuff. And then um, if time doesn't permit, then I just do it whenever I can. Okay. So I just fit it in like that. Okay. So we checked you out the next Friday mm -hmm. and you doing your thing acting. Is there anything else in the works as far as acting? Well, I did um the sequel to the cookout. I did the cookout part two. And um, I don't know when that's uh, slated to be released, but that was the last thing I did. That was in October of last year, and I'm still pursuing that full force. So okay. I definitely, acting is my thing. People don't know that I started out acting before I was rapping. Acting is my first love. Rapping is just something that I could do. Okay. So I use it as a stepping stone to okay. get to acting. Yeah. Okay, so we definitely checked you out on the screen and we mm -hmm. look forward to whatever mm -hmm. you, whatever else you mm -hmm. have coming up. So what are you working on currently? Currently, I'm still working on Verbal Abuse, which is my album. I'm working on myself. I got to get in the gym and get these thighs toned down. The girls was talking about, uh, <laughs> I said, yeah, y'all finna go get dolled up. And um, they was like, Rage, you could get dolled up too? I said, yeah. No, matter of fact, my daughter, before I left home, she's like, Mommy, that's what you're wearing? I said, yeah. She said, why don't you wear something slinky? I said, well, when I get my slinky body, believe me, I'm going to have my slinkiness on. Ow. That's what's up. We definitely got to give you props for holding it down as a mother and a female MC representing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not too many tight lyricists, lyrically inclined, you know what I'm saying? So... today's the state of the female MC. Hmm. 
-hmm. It's in dire straits, I guess. It's, it's. I think Nicki Minaj is doing her. What she's doing right now. A lot of people don't like her. A lot of people have something to say about her. Whether her boobs are real, her butt is real, whatever. Regardless of that, she's the hottest rapper in the game right now, male or female, in my opinion. And by her being a female indirectly helps me it helps the next female out because maybe the executives at the record labels now will look at the female MC again and be like okay well well maybe you know we got something here and and maybe maybe we could give it a shot and maybe we could do you know move on with the female MC so I think that besides Nicki Minaj Trina I don't know what's up with the female MC okay um I don't know I don't know if, a, if, it's, if the record labels know what to do with the female MC because it's like you'll have one female out, but you can't, okay, well, this person is out, so we can't put you out. We got, you got to wait a while. But the guys can be out. You got Snoop out, Jay-Z out, Game out, Eminem out, all of them out at the same time. I mean, they, they're, they compete with each other um, as far as record sales and things like that. So why can't you put this female out, that female out, this female out? And then I don't want the executives to be like, everybody got to look and sound like Nicki Minaj now. Because if that's the case, I might as well hang it up right now because that is not me at all. I don't knock what she does. I mean, you got sexy women in all shapes and sizes. You know, she's doing her thing. You got Trina doing her thing. Kim and Foxy doing their thing. But I'm a tomboy, so I... I'm I'm tomboyish, but I I like to have a little femininity femininity showing. I show my little cleavage. I have my little eyes done. I bat my lashes and giggle, <laughs> but you know, but I can't do those heels. I can't, and that's that's me. So somebody around the world thinks I'm sexy just the way I am, and I think um, the executives want to push that on. We gotta sell. We gotta sell sex. We gotta sell ooze it and drip it and all of that. And no, nah, I'm not. It shouldn't have to be that way. Or you gotta lose weight. But you got Rick Ross, you got Fat Joe, you, before Big Pun died, you, I mean, you, Biggie, you got big guys, but then you want me to lose weight. For what? I mean, I'm going to lose weight, but not because you tell me to, because I want to, and in time I will. But if you try to force the issue, it will not be done. So I think, I think it's double standard with the female MC, and I think that, I don't even know what to say. Uh, what do you think? Um... I agree with a lot of things that you said. I mean, Nicki Minaj is placed in front of us. And shout out to Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. I mean, so basically as listeners or people, the audience, they gravitate towards that because it's programming. And mm -hmm. it's what we've been, you know, subconsciously or mm -hmm. taught to like. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I mean, shout out to Nicki Minaj. It's all good. But I definitely <laughs> look forward to your project when that's coming Thank out. You. I mean, something with substance and something that I could relate to and when you was um, doing mic check I was just vibing you know so I'm looking forward to the album I'm looking forward to do it we too. have any dates none at all okay but y'all check that out it's coming real soon of course the in-house guys Daz corrupt Snoop of course I have a um, new girl that I'm working with Nina Ross from Farmville VA just like myself so um, she'll be on it and um, any other people that I feel that are compatible with me lyrically, 
then they'll be on it. So. Okay. That's what's up. So where can we check you out at? Twitter, Facebook? Now, I just got on Twitter. I, I didn't even know what Twitter <laughs> was. People was asking me, do you tweet? I was like, sometimes late at night when ain't nobody at home, but... You know, <laughs> that ain't what they was talking about. Uh, I was talking about something else. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, I didn't even know what it was. So my friend, she just started a Twitter thing for me and she does it. But she calls me and, and tells me, oh, this person wants to, wants to get at you. And what do you want to say? And do you want me to say this? And I tell her exactly what to say. So it's not like somebody somebody is doing it for me, but I tell them exactly what to say. Because I'm a dinosaur in this age of technology, and I refuse to go into the future willingly. So y'all got to work with me. I'm a little slow on this stuff right now. So um, no MySpace page, no Facebook page, none of that. So Okay, one so thing follow Lady of Rage. At I think it's official Lady of Rage. Okay. Okay, I don't even know it, see? Okay, well, we're we going we gonna to post that up. We'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> I feel I've been acknowledged by my peers. I think they know what Rage is capable of, and I think they know that due to the circumstances at death row, I didn't get what I should have got as far as sales, as far as status, like been platinum, been a platinum artist or things like that, because my album came out in the midst of turmoil, like the the, 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 the dynasty was crumbling at that point. Suge was locked up, Tupac got killed, Dre left, Snoop left, and who was there with me doing my, helping me do my thing. So it was like, here, here, take this, and that was it. So my album, Necessary Roughness, didn't do what I wanted to do as far as sales and getting me out there like I wanted to be, but I think enough people heard me to know that rage is a bad mother, shut your mouth on the mic. <laughs> advice is be true to yourself don't let anybody change you or try to sway you to be anything other than what you are stand firm in your beliefs it may sound a little preachy or cliche or whatever but I think it's the truth I mean you may not get as far as you want to go now that's entirely up to you if you trying to sell your soul to get that dollar and and do all that other stuff then go right ahead but if you you know you stand firm in, in your beliefs and you stand true to your art form and what it is you want to do then I say stand steadfast in that and that's all that's all I got for you determine drive will all of that never give up on yourself and I'll see you at the top show lady arrange y'all yeah I know